hi everyone welcome back to keto blogging and in this video i will show you how you can add tabs to your blogger website so let me just show you here as you can see that i have added the tab in my blogger website and when i click on tab 2 it will show the content within that tab and when i click on tab 3 it will show the content within the tab 3 so in this way you can add a tab section to your blogger website and organize your content so that it will increase the user experience and engagement on your website so as you can see that i have added a heading and then i have added a paragraph and then i have added an image so each tab has its own content and user can switch between tabs so here in this blog post i have added my code box in the tab here so i will click on css and it will show the css code and when i click on javascript it will add the javascript code so let's check how you can add a tab section like this to your blogger website let's go to blogger dashboard click on new post and let me set a title like tab and i will go to this blog post go to html and i will copy all the html code from here and i will paste it here now i will click on the css and i will copy the css code from here and i will paste it here now i will paste the javascript code from here so let's click on javascript and copy all the code from here and i will paste it here like this now we can change our content so the first tab each tab one so let's change it to something like blogger and let's change it to something like wordpress and let's change it to something like wix now let's hit publish button here let's open the blog post and as you can see that we have three tabs one is blogger wordpress and wix and when i click on wordpress it will switch the wordpress tab and when i click on wix it will switch to the wix tab so here we have added paragraph here so here as you can see that we have added a h2 tag within the first tab you can see that the id is tab 1 so each tab has its own id so as you can see that this is tab 3 and here we have the content and we have images added as well and here you can see that this is the image source url so in this way you can add headings paragraphs images block codes code box and anything any html element within this deep class deep id tab one and you can also add more tabs or you can also delete one of the tabs so let me delete this tab section here so let me delete that and let me remove this button as well as you can see that we have two tab right now let's hit update and let me refresh this page and as you can see that we have two tab right now one is blogger and another one is wordpress and you can check in mobile as well so as you can see that we have the two tab blogger and wordpress so here we have added a padding so let me just show you so let me select the content here and this is the tab one and here we have the padding 20 pixels so if you don't want to add padding within the content then you can simply change this value or you can remove that as well so let's, let's select like zero pixel and as you can see that it is properly aligned to the left so in this way you can further customize it and you can also change the border color if you want and you can see that tap link color so let's change the background color of the button here so i will click on here and i will click on green and let's select the color to white like this and as you can see that our button color is changed so you can further customize it so this is a simple tab section and you can use it anywhere whether it is blogger wordpress wix or any other blogging platform so i hope you have learned how to add tab section to your blogger website and if you still have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and if you have any feedback about this video do let us know in the comment section and i will see you in next one bye bye